So it's time for another quick round of me feeling sorry for myself <laughs> while I say why I'm not getting more done, even though it's not clear how productive the things I'm trying to do are. Although I swear <laughs> I am working on some explanations of angular momentum and uh, how the little roller-on control surfaces at the back of a Sidewinder missile, the old models of the Sidewinder missile at any rate, work. Uh, so want to make first a video on how gyroscopic precession works in general, uh, and then uh, how these things uh, take advantage of it. But I don't know, man. I'm hardly getting anything done because <laughs> depression and misery, and I keep trying to just get like gainfully employed or at least get my butt up and do some like actually useful volunteer work. I don't know. <laughs> the last few years have just been particularly rough for me. It's not clear, like, what the path forward is. Like, I've been learning to do a lot of things, which that's kind of always my fallback mode, is that to make sure I'm not completely wasting time, I just learn stuff because I'm innately curious, but I'm not particularly innately dedicated and I don't have particularly good attention to detail, which are things you need to accomplish, well, basically everything. So, you know, there's that. And then it's like, what am I going to do with myself? I don't know. I keep messing up and then telling myself I'll fix it by just being brilliant and you know, doing things that nobody else could even conceive of and so the fact that I mess up a bunch of details and the fact that I'm extremely slow to make progress even to the extent that I actually am able to do it to a reasonable standard it won't matter because my idea and my, you know, brilliance, you know, whatever is just going to make up for it. And it's not how the world works. I don't want to feel sorry for myself entirely, though. I want to look up to people that are actually dedicated and get things done for any reason other than just financial gain, which, I don't know seems to be the end goal of just about everything. The only other thing around seems to be for fame and hubris, which is, well, pretty much just as bad. It's just not quite as common, although maybe these days it's just as common. That's certainly a lot of my motivation, isn't it? Like, I mean, I'm not talking about YouTube so much as academia, like, you know. I always wanted to publish a bunch of awesome papers and be famous in the community for, you know, in the academic community for doing some groundbreaking work. I don't know. I'm sometimes glad that I have floundered though because it makes me rethink what's actually important. <laughs> because when I don't have that hubristic success and all of the glory that I desire, you know, like, what's actually worth slogging through the effort, you know, and the answer, of course, is making people happy and making the world a better place, and I want to try to do both of those things, but you know, I'm not doing a very good job of either, so. We'll see what happens. I've been getting better at using Blender, so hopefully I'll have some useful 3D animations. I've also been putting together some real-world uh, demonstrations, 3D printing and good old-fashioned Dollar Tree foam board, uh, which the latter is actually a better rapid prototyping material in a lot of ways, but by their powers combined, it can do a whole lot. But anyways... 
I just thought I'd feel sorry for myself for a minute and say that, uh, no, really, I am working on the, the Sidewinder project and the really closely related angular momentum project, and maybe I'll finally have something meaningfully out on those next week. But uh, hopefully nobody's uh, waiting on me for anything in particular. Anyways. Peace.